surprise. But it seemed the re-emergence of the likes of Rob Milkins and Ali Carter, who have been in the 16 before and dropped out. They're back. He's a brilliant potter of a ball, is Luca Purcell. I mean, he, he's a bit of a maverick performer, his style. I mean, he's a very long bridge. We're not going to see it on this shot. Because clearly, he's got to play with a short bridge off the cushion. But he does it his own way, I think. Four. European amateur champion at the age of 15 you know that's against all the other amateurs across Europe and again he hadn't been playing last point about the rankings uh, Luca Purcell who is another player who had dropped out in his end of season ranking is actually for a player that has never picked up any points from the Crucible, he never even won a match there. It's, it's everything else Nine. that's got him into that position, but the World Championships. Yeah, and the only good news, I guess, about that is the points can't come off <laughs> on the two-year system if you don't have any to start with. He'll want to break that duck, of course, this year. On the one-year list for the Tour Championship, he's eighth now if he wins the semis last season. Uh, that's a good cannon. He got enough of that red to land on the other one, and an interesting decision to the right corner, that is. Thank you. 60. Doesn't look like it will go anywhere near potting. Not for a lower value colour. Ooh, dearie me. That's the sound it, that uh, makes any snooker player... 60. It's like fingers down a blackboard to a snooker player, that. Settle into this first frame. Joe O'Connor reached the Scottish Open final earlier in this Welsh Open. And of course that run to the Scottish final, good experience Six. of playing in an environment like this, one table, all eyes on you, nothing, no other tables going on. Yeah, I mean, so, he beat Neil Robertson in a match that uh, will stick in my mind for a long while, actually, in the semi-finals. Mark Selby in the round before looked amazing, Robertson, and then come up against Joe O'Connor, who he was a red-hot favourite to beat. Joe O'Connor made a couple of red clearance in that match, which is as good as anything you'll see. You take one of the frames. And, uh, as I say, stopped the Robertson charge before Christmas in its tracks, that performance. more is on the case watching over it understandably it's one of those I mean you dearly love to pot that but can he get to enough of it and I say Brendan will be presiding over this one well <laughs> if the black doesn't move then clearly there's nothing to worry about good shot
looking to profit from that unexpected miscue from Bussell. What O'Connor showed us, Jamal Callan, is that in the key moments, he really did focus hard and took advantage, made a couple of really good clearances, including in the last frame. 21. And his pace of play is more moderate than Jack Lazowski. That's true of most players, actually. But already it's, it feels a different kind of vibe to yesterday. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. One of those where you almost would prefer to get to... Yes, he might pot this black, but he really wanted to get through the, the reds more so than he did on that last shot. Connor, 29. Yeah, made a clear difference. But has he actually left anything? Selby relieved either way to see him break down. Well played, isn't it? Enjoyed about having to play that shot. It's always at the top jaw, but it dropped in. So, the you O'Connor know, positional error, then the miss might be costly. Yeah, and it, it would mean if Purcell could win this frame, of course, Eight. he wouldn't have to dwell on that horrible miscue earlier. Looking to settle and show each other what they've got here this afternoon. The general sense, Nine. isn't there, that this tournament is wide open. There's no absolutely outstanding favourite. It's there for the taking. Fourteen. Fifteen. Feels like he's been around a long time, Brussel. He's actually 28 next month, but he turned pro in 2011. He was, uh, and he was sort of really middle ranked and not going anywhere, but turned it round. Won the Scottish Open, UK finalist. He's pressed on this season already, winning a ranking event, and now back in the top ten. Well, it's more of a surprise that he was doing poorly and. The rankings and it, it he's always been a very talented player i think after he won that china Thank championship you. maybe his form dipped a little bit points come off and then one thing led to another with his game of all that now sixty one Yeah, nice clearance in the end, wasn't it? The miscue 